Hello and welcome to Indie Investigations, my name is James Bartholomew and today we're looking at a game called Anode, which is an interesting take on Tetris. I'll show you how it works in mission mode, which I believe is the main mode of the game. So here we go. Basically, so well, I'll show you as it goes. There is, there's, you know, Tetris layout, Tetris got blocks falling. And you've got these things called detonators. See that glowing ball that's coming down now? That means that that will blow up yellow blocks which there are none off right now. So you have to connect things together like so. So the red, red to red will blow up those reds. Now green and green are connected. Now you see how those, there's those diagonals? That allows you to connect multiple colors. Now I've connected yellow to green. So now if I blow up those, that's gonna blow up all those colors. You see how that works? It's a really interesting design. A um, really interesting idea because it allows you to make interesting combos and destroy multiple colors. In a system that works pretty well, the diagonals are very nice to play with as well. Which are a lot of um, maneuverability. And then there goes those two, that was a waste really. Not the best of Tetris, which you, I'm sure you guys will see from this video. But this is definitely, oh, mission complete, don't know what the mission was. Reach a five times sequence, okay. I mean, just five times combo, that's doable. Well, it should be doable. I'm not entirely sure how those items work, that wasn't. All right, there we go, guarantee neutral. So not entirely sure what I just did. All right, so now you see how up there, there's a yellow one. That means that now there'll be a, a white one, sorry. Now there'll be a neutral detonator, which means I can blow up anything. Goes there. Now I've got a green, so I'm not going to actually detonate all of those. But if I put that there and those detonate, let me get a little bit more freedom. I don't have any purples, put that down there. And see, it's a very, and this is the game, basically. it's Tetris with a little bit of a twist on it, and it's a lot of fun, the soundtrack's been great, it was played very well. The the tutorial could have been better, I mean, I, I didn't really follow that very well, but it, so that could have been better, but you know, for a game like this, it doesn't need to be fantastic, I got the gist of it pretty soon, pretty quickly, so, you know. See if I can use another item. How do I use it before? I think it's by pressing Y. Okay, so yeah, random detonators. That puts random detonators in the thing. All right, so now if I put that there, that's going to detonate all of that. Not really make any success from it, but something happened. All right, so I put the purple there. I really like the diagonal thing, so it allows you to actually do something different with the game, you know? allows you to actually make decisions on the fly as opposed to setting them up. I mean, you can still set them up, but all right, so for a three times sequence, I need to be detonating ones all the time. There we go. They've got a dead, got a neutral coming. So, oh wait, no. Don't know what item I just used actually. All right, so now that one should allow me to connect those two. So you see the, the, the being able to connect different colors is super useful. Like that, and that's gonna connect green and yellow. And that down there. Now if we throw the purple on that, throw yellow there. We're gonna get a guaranteed neutral detonator now, which will allow us to hopefully destroy everything there. Like so. Or not. <laughs> now throw a purple down there yellows this guy coming in nope that's also not very good all right stick that there oh bollocks don't no, that's not what I wanted to do yeah and as you guys can tell I'm not this isn't my sort of game really all right so that's two neutrals I don't know what happens I don't think you can like combine them post combining you know I don't think I can the angles, I don't think I can combine before, uh, but if they fall, they won't combine. So let's see, if I stick that... Oh, bollocks, nope, again, not what I wanted to do at all. Alright, that was a good little explosion, wasn't it? I really like the, the art style and the idea of this game, I think it's... It's very unique. Alright, put that there. Oh, 
Let's see what this next item is. That's a destroy bottom row. Okay, I'll take it. There. And if I throw that there, I guess. I need a guaranteed neutral now. So I throw the neutral onto the pink. Like so. Oh, look at that. That was a good little explosion, wasn't it? I'll combine those two. Yeah, lots of strategy in this. More so than I've, I, more so than I get my head around in Tetris. I won't say more so than in normal Tetris because I'm not good enough to make that statement. I'm not the Tetris Grandmaster that a lot of you think I am. I don't need a uniqueness to this, which I'm, I'm really digging. I use that item. Destroy half yellow. All right. Hover block. Oh, so let's me actually decide where I want to put it. Okay. Now if I chuck. Oh, and it lasts not just one block. It lasts forever. Uh, or until the time runs out. Uh, interesting. Use that guaranteed neutral. And let's throw that there. That. Oh, look at that. It's so great when a game gives you proper explosions like that, isn't there? Random neutral, okay. I'm not going to get the ran the five time sequence is definitely a long way off for me, I think. Okay, so let's put that facing upwards. That works there. Put that one facing upwards as well. Throw that down there. And now what happens if I put a blue detonator there? See, that's what I like. I like that it's the detonator. That the detonator set it off, so you do have time to actually make the combos yourself and think about it. I mean, someone more proficient in Tetris than me could definitely take advantage of those better, I think there boom detonated there destroy half red I don't, item, I don't anything that is half red do I no right, so I'll put, destroy blue half red okay didn't do much but did something oh maybe we'll do it this time let's see no that was still three one Yellow and yellow. Right, let's throw purple down there. No, I don't know how long this 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 in uh, usually I don't know how long the invitations have been to be there, but this is one that I'm definitely having a. Um, I'm not really focused on the investigations. I'm focused on the game, and that's different to most of them. This is one I'm actually playing the game as opposed to talking about the game while playing the game. If that makes sense. All right, random neutral. Uh, random neutral. Random detonators. All right, so if that goes there, that gives us the five sequence. Just don't drop for nine seconds. Okay, I can do that. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, there we go. All right, I have ten blocks in our bin. Okay. So the bin is obviously where the Tetris stuff goes. Oh. Detonate six connected red blocks. That's, we've got three there. I like these missions as well, like they're making you actually think about your, how, the way you're playing the game, not just going for the maximum points, but going for an actual... Getting loads of achievements as well, which is nice. That was five, pugger. 
actually think about the way games, the game's been played. So, okay. So apart from this mode, you've got the um, endless mode. You've got a time attack mode. You've got you've got typical arcade Tetris game modes, really. This is one that I've been having most fun with. It's a mode where you just come in here and you do some you do some skill based stuff. Right, right now I've detonated six red blocks, so it's like, alright, so I find some red blocks, okay, I could do that. Then I have to detonate them all. At some point, alright, throw that there. Oh, that's gonna be a great little explosion, isn't it? Let's throw the green guys there. Alright, here we go. Look at this. Oh, look how satisfying that was. All right. Red. Green. Blue. More red, so that's four red. Combine those. Right, that's a red there. Now, if I can somehow get those blocks away, I just blocked in my red, didn't I? Oh, shoot. That's going to get a guaranteed neutral explosion, All right? Give me another one there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This is a great, like, if you're into the Tetris genre, this is a great, oh, I guess the Falling Blocks genre. This is a great little entry into it. It's really, really fun. I say that as someone that doesn't really enjoy the genre, to be honest. It's, it's, I'm having a ball with this. So I'm not going to manage the red one, doesn't it? Right, get me some hover blocks. I can actually think about this. All right. Yellow detonator there. So the green down there. The yellow there. Okay. And you see the music gets gets fast as you're about as you're getting closer to death. Which I imagine is how it goes in real life as well. Oh shoot, that was bad. Yeah, and then that's game over. Or not. I used that random demo right then. That um actually helped me <laughs> pretty well. That was worth using. Alright, let's throw that there. Yeah, but it's not going to save me for long, is it? Or is it? We'll see. What was that? Destroy half blue. Okay. That actually means I like, destroy half my blue, the blue blocks, not destroy half blue blocks. So that makes sense. It's, yeah. All right. Hopefully, I'm demonstrating what makes this game special. Well, because it there is a lot that makes this game special, and it's this. It's that combining mechanic. Really, it feels so cool to combine different colors and make a combo out of them. The items definitely helped my skin, though. Right now, you guys saw how close I was to death, and I'm alive again. None of those are detonators. Throw those over there. Let's get a red. That's five there, alright. Yellow. Alright, right, that's six. Now I just need a red detonator, and we've got that mission done. There we go. Destroy seven connected blocks. So that's those green ones, isn't it? Oh, 
Come on, get sir, sir. Give us a green dead in there. Come on, guys. So yeah, again, this is called Anode, and it's great. <laughs> I mean, I've shown you guys the whole... We'll, we'll, we'll exit out this mode in a moment, and I'll show you the other modes real quick. I can't believe someone got a green detonator yet. If we get one now, it doesn't matter, because I've just blocked them in. Oh, there we go. Okay, destroy three chains or three or less, okay. Four purple connector blocks. Make one coupler link. So that, that slows angles, isn't it? Easy peasy, there's always six connected purple blocks, which I've just done. Yeah, you guys get the idea. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu. You've got the mission mode, which we're just playing. You've got time attack, which is a timer, so play until the timer runs out. I don't know how long the timer is. Two minutes. Okay, so that's just playing the game for two minutes. Which I guess means having to drop blocks pretty quick. Like so. I've just been scared of doing the, the block dropping in Tetris, just in case I'm not, you know, 100% on, on the mark with where I wanted to put it. It, does, it takes away that that response time you have, doesn't it? But yeah. Alright, so you got a two minute time attack. You have race mode. Plan to reach the goal score. Okay, so the faster you do it, so we have to get 50,000 points. So, it's a mode where you basically have to play as quick as you can. Well, in a different manner to how you play as quick as you can in in the time attack mode. Looks like the points actually go down pretty quick as well. I wonder what happens when you make it to that time. I guess nothing, because it's all about making it to that time as quick as possible, so that's the mode, and you play it to get better at that time, don't you? Yeah, right, the time attack mode, and then of course you have endless mode, all right? Not much in the settings, you've got video input, video settings of like that. Well, I mean, I guess you got that. Let's set it to fantastic because my 980i needs to be put to use with this. And you've got, you, I'm playing with a controller, which is nice. You can play with a keyboard and mouse as well. And yeah, that's it. That's Anode. And it's uh, a lot of fun. Made by Kitty Face Software. Um, really good game, lots of fun, and definitely uh, if you enjoy playing Tetris. Alright guys, thanks for watching and take care. Bye bye. Looking for more? On your left is a link to a previous video from this series. And on your right is another series I'm working on currently. If you want to know when new videos are going up, follow me on Twitter at Adiagros. Hit that subscribe button now. Thanks for watching, and until I see you guys next time, take care. Bye bye.